Okay, right. What we are going to look at now ne, is what is called the types of DC links. Okay, right. We will notice that there are three types of HVDC links. Simply meaning there's a monopolar, a bipolar, as well as a homopolar. Okay, right. Now, let's just uh, uh, have a quick discussion on what is called the Kohora Basa Gauteng HVDC line. Okay, and then we are going to look as an ex at an example of a bipolar type. Okay, right. Kaora Basa Gauteng HVDC. The HVDC transmission line between the hydroelectric power station at Kaora Basa in Mozambique and Gauteng in South Africa is a bipolar type. Due to the harmonics that are generated during the conversion process, filters have to be installed on the AC and DC side of the converter stations. The filters are referred to as line traps since they are series resonant filters designed to eliminate the specific harmonics that are generated. Series reactors provide a high impedance to the harmonics and the line traps provide a low impedance between the line and the earth. Okay, The DC voltage of the line is referred to as the pole voltage. In the Kohora Basa Gauteng link, the original pole voltage was 531 kilovolts. Okay, the system was upgraded to 600 kilovolts, okay, between, two between the year 2000 and the year 2010. However, it has been plagued by insulation flashovers on the South African side and can only be operated at 531 kilovolts. Okay, note, nah, the system was upgraded to 600 kilovolts however due to complications on the south african side it can only be operated at 531 kilovolts okay right the breakdowns on the south african side may be due to lightning strikes pollution or atmospheric conditions or a combination thereof right the converter stations are made up of two 12 pulse converters one 12 pulse converter is connected to the positive pole and the other to the negative pole each 12 pole converter consists of two six pulse converters okay one six pulse converter is fed from a delta to star transformer and the other from a delta to delta transformer the delta to star transformer provides a 30 degree phase shift with respect to the delta delta conversion okay simply meaning if you have a delta delta uh, uh, conversion meaning you have some sort of a transformer where you go delta on one side delta on the other side what this is saying is there is no phase shift okay however should you have a delta star or a star delta then there will be a phase shift and that phase shift it's a 30 degree phase shift okay yes thus there is a 30 degree phase shift between the voltages fed to the two six pulse converters thus there is a 30 degree phase shift between the voltages fed to the two six pulse converters okay the addition of the output of the two six pulse converter outputs okay results in a 12 pulse output the pulse number okay of a converter refers to the number of pulses it refers to the number of pulses okay counted on the DC output ripple for one cycle of the supply voltage it is therefore also the ratio between the ripple frequency and the supply frequency right now just to give context or clarity okay this here is an example of what we would call a diagrammatic presentation of the converter stations in a bipolar HVDC scheme. Simply meaning on this side here, we are going to have what is called our three-phase system A, meaning input. Over here we will have our three-phase system B, 
output okay we will have a bunch of dc input transformers okay and then they will in this case be connected delta three phase delta okay right this is delta 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 wait what am i saying i'm saying that this is the three phase system a input this is delta 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 okay and then meaning that's our primary side and then for the secondary it's delta star delta delta simply meaning on a delta delta system the phase shift will be zero degrees okay however for a delta star it's going to be a 30 degree phase shift relative to the delta delta system okay right when we say delta star system over there we will notice that these two are connected okay in series however they are also connected via in this case we will call it ground okay to this other delta star delta delta configuration okay now this on its own is what is known as a six pulse converter so a six pulse and a six pulse converter give us what we call the positive side of our 12 pulse group okay and then equally so here at the bottom here we have a negative 12 pulse group okay so essentially speaking this is a converter station a simplified schematic of the converter station on both sides of the bipolar hvdc scheme is shown in figure 1.2 so this essentially is what is converting your ac into what will supposedly be dc and then this side here we will supposedly convert the dc back to ac Okay, right. Each thyristor presents a valve consisting of a combination. So simply meaning each thyristor on the sketch, okay, it represents a valve and then that valve it is consisting out of a combination of thyristors in series and or parallel to obtain the required reverse voltage and forward current rating a converter is the terminology used to indicate the topology that can be used to rectify as well as invert okay simply meaning when we when we are referring to a converter we can either be referring to what is known as a rectifier or an inverter however in this case we are referring to both of them as converters okay right the station on the sending side we will be rectifying ac to dc while the station on the receiving side will be inverting dc to ac the six pulse converter and delta star as well as the delta delta transformers are identifiable i mean we've pointed that out okay kahara basa hydroelectric generation station would be system a in this diagram and the houting power grid should be system b right if we look at activity 1.4 this is something we will deal with at a later stage for now we are just trying to get an overview okay right We'll stop here for now.